The Inazuma 11 Victory Road Victory Gallery is one of the seven wonders of the world and something that level five does not want me to share. They put out guidelines which basically say that you're not allowed to post any of the art from the Victory Gallery online. So obviously someone went and made a video of the entire Victory Gallery, which you can, I think you can still find on YouTube. But they didn't say that I'm not allowed to talk about it. So today, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to talk about the Victory Gallery. Namely, two pictures in particular that have really interested me. So obviously, be warned, this video may contain spoilers. If you haven't seen the Victory Gallery and don't want to, this is not the video for you. But if you have seen what, what the Victory Gallery beholds and you're interested by it, then let's talk. So the first of the two images that I want to talk about is the one with Neil Turner on it or adult Neil Turner in his suit, I think is the coach of the Sun team, which is cool. It's nice to see Neil Turner get back in the spotlight, and it also does confirm that it's on the table for original Inazuma 11 characters to return as adults, which we, we obviously had an inkling that that would happen. And obviously, I mean, I know they didn't go, but like more so adults now, because this is what, like 15 years after go? So how, how old is Neil Turner in this? He was like, 13, 23, 38. This is like an almost 40-year-old middle-aged man, Neil Turner, which that's weird. But what's funny is, to be fair, he doesn't actually look that different from how he would probably have looked in Go. So I guess those 15 years didn't really do a lot for him. But obviously, as exciting as it is to see Neil Turner return, what's more exciting is the other possibilities that could come as a result of this. Who else is going to make that step? Who else is going to appear in this game? Are we going to get super mega adult Mark Evans? I'm saying super mega adult as another way of saying like 38 year old, which is a bit weird. But are we going to see Mark Evans return? Uh, obviously, we know that his son, Endu Haru, is in the game. So surely it makes sense to see Mark Evans at some point. And now that we know, that's on the table. That's a possibility. And we, there's also Chester Horse Jr. in there, I think. So there is going to be a bunch of Inazuma 11 1 characters, we can assume. It's probably not just going to be, um, you know what I mean, just Victory Road characters, just brand new ones and descendants and stuff. We might actually get to see some of the OG guys. Now, I hope this doesn't then become just lots and lots of fan service, though. I'm saying that, but to be fair, I guess I would be really happy if I saw like Axel Blaze as a 40 year old man. So I feel like I'm probably one of the people who would be quite easily converted by fan service. But yeah, I think it's really cool that Neil Turner is getting this extra bit of spotlight on him. I think it's cool that he's uh, returning. I think it's cool that we're getting more grown-up versions of players, not just the Go ones, like these actual grown-up ones. We can see what they did with their lives. I'm really interested to see if players like Mark Evans return. But what, what I'm most interested about, I think, is the idea of Go players returning. I want to see adults like Arian, adult Victor, adult JP. Has he finally passed five foot? I want to see like adult Gabby, Ga um, adult Terry. Like, is he a pro basketballer or is he stuck to the football world? I don't know. But you know what I mean? Like, these are the paths that I want to see. These are the characters that I want to see. I don't think it just has to be about the OG players. Go is in there too. I don't think it's been retconned. So yeah. Give me some adult Go characters. So yeah, that's why I like this image. It gives us a good sign of things to come. Now, the second photo I want to talk about is a concept art of this lad from Rymon. Because on that concept art, on the back of his shirt, it says Kido. K-I-D-O. Now, what does this mean? Does it mean that obviously Kido, Kido, Kido is um, Jude's name in the, the, the Japanese games? So, does that mean that he's Jude's son, or Celia's son, or Jude's nephew? Lucy and Dark exists. I don't know. Uh, Jude doesn't have a brother, to be fair, so how could it be Jude's nephew? What am I, what am I waffling about? Maybe it's Jude's significantly younger brother? No, why would it be Celia's? It's, unless Celia gets, like, officially adopted. I don't know. I guess it's probably got to kind of got to be Jude's son, doesn't it? Um, if, if we're assuming that this isn't just another Eugene Peabody situation, where in Zoom 11 have just gone, eh, give him the last, same last name anyway, no one will notice. And I mean, it's really interesting because this fella does not look at all like Jude. 
in the slightest. But I do think it's really cool, the idea that we are going to be getting a lot of Descendants scattered across the different teams. You never know who might pop up. Hey, Neil Turner is in this game. For all we know, we could randomly just be playing the game and suddenly Wolf from a cult, his son, is on um, one of the teams we encounter. Why not? But just looking at this gallery as a whole, I really, really like all the designs that we get to see. I like all the, obviously, the Rhymon designs are great. I love the Sun Team's designs. I'm just a big fan of the art of Victory Road as a whole. And I do think it's really fun of Level 5 to sneak in a few little teasers, like, oh, is this fella Jude's son? Or, oh, what is Neil Turner doing in this video game? I like that. It's cute. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that's Jude's son? What is Neil Turner doing in this video game? Let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that classic YouTube stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.